My name is Kelly Henry. I'm a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator, and I work at the Center for Excellence in Diabetes Education here in Northampton, Mass. Today I'm going to be talking about how to prevent high blood sugar. Um, the best way to prevent high blood sugar is a healthy lifestyle. Um, in that healthy lifestyle, there's lots of different things you can be doing. Um, we have the healthy seven healthy behaviors made uh, by the American Association for Diabetes Educators. Um, to include healthy eating, and in healthy eating, we want to look at um, plate method, what we call it, or portion control. One of the biggest problems that we have is eating too much. So we want to get a plate that's smaller, no bigger than nine inches. Plate method is a great way to keep your portions where they should be. Um, fill the plate once, bring the food um, from the counter, serve your plate, rather than bringing the food to the table. Um, three meals a day, spread your meals out. And then also with drinks, make sure that you're not drinking your carbohydrates. We wanna make sure that you have um, uh, very little um, soda, juices, uh, sports drinks like Gatorade, um, G2, all the different ones that are out there now. All these things are loaded with sugar. They don't give us any real benefit to our um, nutrition needs. Um, there's um, no, they don't really fill us up. If we um, start to drink, we can drink a lot and add a lot of carbs or sugar to our body, and yet um, we haven't really done anything as far as what we needed nutritionally or feeling full. So really make sure that we're looking at our portion sizes, not drinking the carbs. And the other thing is that we have plenty of fiber in our diet. We want to add fiber because that helps to lower the blood sugar. Other piece that we want to do is make sure that we have plenty of activity in our diet. Um, and I think it's important to mention here that we make sure that our kids are included in all of this too because we want to get people um, while they don't have diabetes and that's the best way to prevent high blood sugar is to prevent diabetes altogether. And so activity for ourselves, for our kids, and I always tell my patients that if we model good behavior as patients with diabetes or um, parents, our kids are much more likely to um, do what they need to do, eat healthy, and then add plenty of activity to the, the um, uh, daily activity. Um, at least three or four times a week, we should have an aerobic exercise. Um, a couple times a week, maybe some weight lifting, and then also consider um, some flexibility. I always tell my patients, if you can only do one type of exercise, then do the aerobic. And the best thing you can do for aerobic exercise is get out and take a walk. Um, in New England, sometimes that's difficult, so we really want to look at what's the things we can do in the winter. And we may need to have a couple different types of exercise that we do. Um, and then we also want to really consider stress management. Um, we want to make sure that we're not stressed because stress raises blood sugar. So look at the ways to reduce the stress. And then we don't want to forget testing the blood glucose. Everyone with diabetes should have a blood sugar monitor. Make sure that their blood sugars are in good control. The best way to do that is to test and see where that blood sugar is. And also the testing helps us look and see if the therapies that we're doing are working. Are we keeping our blood sugar down? So the best way to lower that blood sugar is the seven healthy behaviors healthy meal plan, healthy um, activity level, monitoring, taking our medications if they're needed, problem solving, reducing risks, and healthy coping.